guys, it's Claire Cute. So today in this video, I'm going to be showing you a realistic fall week of outfits. I do a bunch of fall outfit idea videos and try on hauls, but I've never shown you a legitimate week of outfits, like just in its own video. I mean, I do week in my lives and I feature my outfits, but not like this, not where I sit down and really talk to you about each of them. I pride myself in having a consistent wardrobe. Everything goes together, so it's really easy to mix and match. I'm always dressing the same girl as they would say. Even if I'm going more edgy or more classy or more sporty, I feel like it always suits the same vibe. I keep the same color of metals all the time, always gold. The same base colors, always warm tones, always neutrals. Having that as the bulk of your wardrobe is super helpful so that when you want to throw in an accent piece or a statement piece, you have the same foundation of clothing. And for me, I've been really, really into chocolate brown this year. <laughs> also this shade of brown, which is more of like a cocoa, but like dark chocolate chocolate mocha brown has been like my obsession this year. So you'll see a lot of that over the course of the week. But no matter if I'm feeling lazy or motivated, I always manage to keep my outfits fresh, different hairstyles, different makeup, etc. I'm so excited to show you all the stuff that I wore this week. If you think that you're going to enjoy this video and if you want more week of outfits videos, then please don't forget to leave a big thumbs up to let me know. And also be sure to subscribe to become a cutie and turn on post notifications so that you'll know whenever I post a video. So without any further ado, let's get on to the week. Starting off on Monday, I was going on a mall date and I was also hanging out with my best friend. So I wanted to make sure to be comfy and casual, but also still fresh and different, still sticking to the fall theme. So as the base layer, I'm wearing this chocolate brown v-neck long sleeve. I love this shirt for layering. It keeps you warm, but it also looks really nice on its own. I love the Babaton shapewear. I feel like it's extremely flattering. You don't have to wear a bra underneath. On top, I'm wearing my current favorite sweater, which is this brown sweater from Urban Outfitters. It's thin, so it's still giving cutesy, flirty, fresh. It's not like a big, chunky sweater. Although I do love the big, chunky sweaters, and you'll see some of those later this week. But I love this for that vibe, and technically it's a cardigan, so you can even undo it if you want. I love these low-rise jeans as well. I searched to the ends of the earth to find the perfect low-rise jeans, and I, they freaking don't exist anywhere. But I found these super cute, super flattering ones from Garage. I love the seams. They're so flattering. It's giving our glass and it's so hard to find flattering low rise but these ones are extremely flattering if you're going low rise go fit and flare especially if you're like medium height or shorter like I am because the baggy low rise just completely drown me out and make me look like I have super short legs my purse is from pixie mood and then all this week I wear my new balance sneakers because the new balance sneakers tie in all the neutral tones next up I was bundled up this day because it was super duper cold so I have this turtleneck which is a three-quarter sleeve I'll insert a photo because I didn't get a really good shot of it. It's from Aritzia. I love it because, like I said, it's great for layering. I love that little peekaboo of the turtleneck coming out of the top of anything, especially this super cute quarter zip Sherpa sweater. I'm obsessed with the Sherpa this year. I don't know what it is. There's something in the air. But the chocolate brown and Sherpa, I've been eyeing the sweater for like months. And then finally, I gave it and bought it. Now I wear it almost all the time. Dressing it back up, I have my cargo dress pants from Aritzia, which I feature in pretty much every try on all video. And I have this belt, which is also from Ritzia, and I love the vibe of it. New Balance sneakers, pixie mood purse. I was going to a studio recording for an audiobook that I'm acting in, so I wanted to stay comfy, but also still look professional and cute and feeling myself. Although I wasn't going to be seen on camera, I wanted to make sure I looked good off camera, just with the mic. So it was a vibe. I'm into it. Wednesday, I was staying home and just writing, doing a ton of writing on my script for the feature film that I'm working on. That's a side note, but I really just had to bang it out that day, so I was wearing comfy clothes. I threw on this easy peasy cat suit from Aritzia. I love it on its own, it's extremely comfortable. It's a one thought outfit, you don't have to put anything together. And then for going out because it was cold, I threw on that Sherpa sweater again. I have my Urban Outfitters tote bag because I was packing my laptop up and I love this tote bag. It's corduroy, super duper cute. Thursday, I'm obsessed with this wine colored oversized sweater from Aritzia. It is so preppy, so so cute. This color is extremely flattering for my skin tone and I'm obsessed with it. I have my baggy jeans to just keep with the oversized comfy aesthetic. I'm wearing this square neck black bodysuit underneath from Maritzia. I love this. It's so flattering. And then if I was hot, I would take off the sweater and I put the sweater on like the preppy style over the shoulder. Obsessed with that. And it's just super flattering, super cute, super comfy. Great for the fall. Kind of a not what you would expect color for the fall. It's not just like browns and oranges. I love the like purpley 
vibe, the wine color. It's so nice and so classy. And I haven't really seen it around, so it's unique. New Balance sneakers again, because they go with everything. Friday, I was going to watch a soccer game, so I wanted to give soccer mom vibes. I'm wearing this zip up from TNA. I'm not even sure what they would consider this, because it's not like a sweater in which you could like wear stuff under it really. Or at least I don't wear anything under it. I wear it as a shirt, but it's a zip up. The compression is good enough though that you don't need anything underneath. So if you're committed to it, then don't even bother putting anything underneath. You're never gonna take it off. But I love it. It's extremely flattering. It's giving sporty soccer mom. I love the fit and flare for that. They're super flattering. They go with the soccer mom vibe as well. So we're completing the look and then New Balance, pixie mood. We're done. And finally, for Saturday, I don't know why I didn't film Sunday, I guess I forgot, but for Saturday, it is what I'm wearing today, and that is this Urban Outfitter brown pleather corset top. I'm obsessed. It's so cute. It's giving Roman Empire. It's giving edgy. It's giving classy. It's giving fresh. It's giving, I've never seen anybody on the streets actually wearing this, so if you wear it, you're gonna be unique. It comes in multiple colors. I tried it on in like an ivory color as well, which was beautiful. Baggage from Garage, love it. Pixie Mood purse, New Balance sneakers. That is what I wore this week. Everything that I mentioned will be linked in the description box down below, so be sure to check that out. And also stay tuned, because I do tons of fashion and beauty videos all the time, and I have plenty of exciting ones coming for Halloween, for Christmas, for winter, for my birthday. I'm so excited for all the videos coming, so don't forget to subscribe and become a cutie, and stay tuned. Also turn on post notifications, and be sure to leave a big thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it, and I will know to do more week of Outfits videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.